a young boy went to the corner store with his mother. Now the owner of this store, a kindly man, would always offer the children that came in the opportunity to reach into a big jar of suckers and take a handful. But uncharacteristic of children and on this day, this little boy, he held back and didn't take any suckers. The shop owner said, go ahead, son, it's okay. And the little boy said, no, sir. So the shop owner just reached in and grabbed a handful of suckers and handed them to the little boy. When they were outside, the little boy's mom asked him, said, son, why, why didn't you reach in and take a handful of suckers? And the little boy smiled and said, because his hand is much bigger than mine. Well, child of God, I'm fully persuaded that there's much more in God's hand than there is in ours. And what we have to do is be willing to release what's in our hand to receive what's in His. If you're close-fisted, well, if you're close-fisted to God, He literally will not be able to give you the blessings that He wants to. Consider 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17 through 19 in the Message Bible. Tell those rich in the world's wealth to quit being so full of themselves. So obsessed with money, which is here today and gone tomorrow. Listen to this. Tell them to go after God, who piles on all the riches we could ever manage to do good, to be rich in helping others, to be extravagantly generous. If they do that, they'll build a treasury that will last, gaining life that is truly life. Now, let's just see. I got a choice. I can have what's in my hand. I can have what's in God's hands. Hey, that's no choice. Every time, I'll take what's in God's hand. And that's what I call getting to the point.